A very popular companion, this mob got a revamp in 1.20.5. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the wolf in Minecraft. Wolves spawn in groups of 1 to 8, depending on the biome and variant of wolf. So let's go over that right now. The ashen wolf spawns in snowy taiga biomes in groups of 4. The black wolf spawns in old growth pine taiga in groups of 2 to 4. The chestnut wolf spawns in old growth spruce taiga, also in groups of 2 to 4. The old default wolf, now known as the pale wolf, spawns in taiga biomes in groups of 4. The rusty wolf spawns in sparse jungle biome in groups of 2 to 4. The snowy wolf spawns in the grove biome, but it only spawns in groups of 1, so it's solitary and is the rarest type. The spotted wolf spawns in the savanna plateau in groups of 4 to 8, so it's a fairly large pack animal. The striped wolf spawns in wooded badlands in groups of 4 to 8. And finally we have the woods wolf, which spawns in forests. These are very common, and they spawn in groups of 4. 10% of the time, they will spawn naturally as pups. Wolves will have different facial expressions depending on what type of wolf they are. What I mean by that is, this is an untamed wolf, so it has a fairly neutral expression. These are all tamed wolves, which you can tell by the collars, but if you look at their eyes, they seem to have a cuter look. But if you present them with prey, they get an angry look, as you can see, red eyes. As you saw, the wolf was hostile towards sheep. They are also hostile to a few other types of animals, including rabbits, foxes, baby turtles, and skeletons. Untamed wolves will avoid llamas unless they're spit on. Then they will attack. Tamed wolves, on the other hand, will only attack skeletons unprovoked. They will, however, attack any mob that their owner attacks. So if I do that, He'll go after the pig, as you can see. It's running after him. And they will also go after any mob or player that attacks its owner. They will not attack ghasts, creepers, or other tamed animals. When you have a tamed wolf, you can use the use key or right click, and they will sit. Do the same thing, and they will stand. But how do you tame a wolf? If you want to tame a wolf, you're going to need bone meal. That's all you need to do. Same thing, right click until you get hearts. And there we go, we have a tamed wolf right here. To feed a wolf, there are a few different kinds of foods that you can give them. However, Java and Bedrock Editions do differ. Now you can use any raw or cooked meat to feed a wolf. As you can see, its head tilted. You can also feed them rotten flesh. And in fact, rotten flesh, <laughs> I seem to like that, you, you don't have any of the uh, bad effects from it. Let me just have it sit down for a moment. In Bedrock Edition, you can feed them salmon or cod, as well as rabbit stew. But in Java Edition, right here, it's not interested at all. In Bedrock Edition, pufferfish and tropical fish can also be fed to wolves. However, pufferfish will not inflict hunger, poison, and nausea, which is a good thing. Other items that you can use on wolves, dye will change the color of the collar. A lead can be attached to a wolf. You can also uh, pull them along with you, as long as they are standing up. This one is not, so the lead broke. You can also put wolf armor on them. And to take it off, you use shears, and you also get an advancement for that. As for health points, a wild wolf has 8 health points, or 4 hearts. A tamed wolf, up to 1.20.5, has 20 health points in Java Edition, and 40 in Bedrock Edition. However, in 1.20.5, they will also be getting 40 in Java Edition. Depending on which hardness of Minecraft you're playing, the attack strength of a wolf can be 3 in easy, 4 in normal, or 6 in hard. 
Wolves never spawn, especially tamed wolves. Now, if they're sitting, they will stay there the whole time. But if it is one that is allowed to walk and you go quite a distance away from them, they will try to run after you. But if you go too far, they will teleport just like that. You want to be careful, though, because wolves have been known to teleport under ice and they end up drowning. There are certain cases when a wolf will not teleport. That includes being in an unloaded chunk, even if they are standing, but they will be there when you return. Also, if they are in a minecart or a boat, they cannot leave until you remove them. Or if they are leashed to a fence post, they will not be able to leave that way. If a wolf follows you into the nether, they will go through the nether portal, but sometimes you need to push them through. However, they will not teleport to you from the overworld to the nether or vice versa. To breed wolves, you need to use different kinds of meat, including rotten flesh. So all you need to do is click on them, get the hearts, and we will have... Well, we'll see what we have with this one. Ah, okay, we have another woods wolf. Pups are already fully tamed. In fact, you notice it has a collar, same as that one, which is very interesting. You can also speed up the growth of a pup by feeding them. And this will increase the growth rate by 10% each time. Wolves are perfect for keeping skeletons away in your base as well, so definitely spread them around. They don't have to be standing. Skeletons just don't like them. So what do you use wolves for? Let me know in the comments below. Check out the video on the left to learn more about wolf armor. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.